Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Woo! Guys, I was supposed to launch my channel in August, but I finally think I'm shooting a video I like. So we're gonna launch in September. And it's okay guys, own time, own, own race, own pace, whatever people say. So welcome to the Lido's lifestyle. So a quick run through about what my channel is about. My channel is about fitness, it's about food, it's about my lifestyle in the life of a young plus sized woman. So um, we'll be running through topics with friends, we'll be having chit chats. I'll be cooking dinner and inviting my friends over. I'm gonna be having conversations. Guys, oh, I, I am happy with this video. I'm not gonna lie. And ironically, I'm based in Johannesburg, but I am shooting the video in Peter Maritzburg at home where I'm from. And I feel so comfortable. I feel so happy. Maybe it's just the ambiance of being around my family bring around my parents especially i feel like i can achieve and do anything i put my mind to so yeah that's the quick run through of what my channel is about food fitness chit chat my lifestyle so let's go into who is lelo and that will probably give you a better understanding of why i started my channel and what i'm here to do so yeah my questions, I've printed them out and I've pasted them and I'm ready to read them to you. I'm a traditional girl like that. Like, I like paper. I like printing. I like things that are tangible. And ironically, people who know me from my food page, Food with Lilo M on Instagram, I'm not saying so. So, oh, hell no. I started it again. But like, so, <laughs> let's just go into it. Let's go into the questions. Please tell us when and where you were born. Um, I was born in Ingwavuma, that's in Northern KZN, small little Makaya area. And uh, I was born at after midnight, like for my 20 past 12 on the 3rd of August, 1996. I was born at home. And then I was taken to the hospital. Apparently, my mom gave birth in the kitchen at home. And I was premature by like three weeks because they expected me at the end of August and I came at the beginning of August. I was a very healthy baby. And my mom says the birth wasn't difficult, no tricky. So, yeah. Second question, what's your full name and are you proud of it? My full name is Nombulelo. It's a Kosa name, but I'm fully Zulu on both sides. Uh, it means to Ubulela is to be thankful. Yeah, so I'm proud of my name. I think like to be thankful that an individual is born is a lot. So I'm proud that my parents reached a stage where they said they are thankful to have me. Um favorite movies pretty woman high school musical um that liam neeson movie taken i like taken um mr and mrs smith that's one of my all-time faves yeah off the top of my head those are like oh i lied i lied how can i forget she's the man that movie like gave me so much ambition to go against all the men's compete for what I want. Yeah, she's the woman. Loved that movie. Top five series. Now, in terms of top five series, um, this question, I don't know, does it mean all time? Does it mean like comedy? Because if we're speaking comedy, I'm gonna say friends, I'm gonna say Will and Grace. I'm gonna say blackish, I'm gonna say grownish, and there is one more that I'm forgetting. Oh, Big Bang Theory. Yeah, 
those are like my comedy ones that i find super hilarious and then top five series of all time that's a completely different list because i'm talking game of thrones i'm talking gossip girl um game of thrones gossip girl i think those oh handmaid's tale i really enjoy the handmaid's tale blessed be the fruit um what else yeah oh hawaii 5 -0 love that show don't know maybe it's because my garrett is such an attractive white man that's why i like the show but hawaii 5 already does bang it for me speaking of which i need to catch up on the show uh where are you from and are you proud of it i am from peter maritzburg even though i wasn't born in peter maritzburg but i'm from peter maritzburg i've lived in peter maritzburg all my life until i moved to university I'm proud of Peter Maritzburg. Those that know, know. Like, Peter Maritzburg is its own little cute town. I love it. Those that know, know. It's got the best water in the damn country. Like, those who know me personally know I filter my water when I'm in Johannesburg. But in Peter Maritzburg, fresh from the tap. No filtering. Because <laughs> the water just tastes godly um do you love playing any sports or just watching it the last time i played like a collective sports was like when i was in primary and i did swimming and hockey those are my two sports i did enjoy playing them but when, as i got older like i lost the drive i lost the ambition to play them but i also do enjoy watching sports i enjoy watching rugby i'm actually looking forward to the rugby world cup Backing my boys, the box. Um, I'm not so much a soccer fan. Basketball, I enjoyed in theory, but like the waking up at 3 a.m. to watch matches is just not me. The only thing I woke up, wake up, or woke up for at 3 a.m. is Game of Thrones. And now that is done, I have no reason to be waking up at 3 a.m. Um, how many children do you want to have? Six. I want six. Four boys and two girls. Even have their schools planned out. My girls will go to my alma mater, St. John's DSG in Maritzburg, and my sons will go to Michael House. Because if I were a boy, I would have gone to Michael House. That's what my dad maintains. Um, are you married or single and why? I'm single because I was on trail. Until someone, if you are like her, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm Sameli, to say, I'm going to I really don't know all my clan names. It's embarrassing. Until someone comes and says that at these gates, I'm damn single. Um, Do you love music? Which genre is your favorite? When it comes to music, I listen to everything. From Maskandi to gospel to hip hop to house to boom to the Yanos. I listen to in everything. Even alternative. I just love music. And I find so much peace in music. And yeah, music is just refreshing. It's a whole damn experience. Oh, and I'm the queen of making playlists. If you're looking for really dope playlists, do add me on Apple Music. My name is Numbile Lumbandra. You're going to see a picture of me. I'm always sharing playlists, always creating playlists. My R&B playlist for a Sunday. Mm. Mm. Sundays are very different to me. I'm not gonna lie. Um, what's your, who's your favorite male YouTuber? I really don't subscribe to male channels, so my favorite male YouTuber doesn't go alone. He's in a relationship. So they exist in couple YouTube and it has to be Diera and Ken. Ken is my favorite male YouTuber. That couple for me is just super cute. They work like in Diaba Bawela, man. They are always traveling. Well, look at that. This clock just goes off. It's quarter past two and it's letting me know. Um, My favorite female YouTuber. Don't know if I'm being biased here, but... Michelle in uh Fezega Mkabela also started her channel. She's my fave. Love, love, love their love, love, love their channels. 
sometimes i feel the need to over enunciate my words because i speak really fast and people tend to miss what i'm saying sometimes but yeah those are like my two favorite female youtubers diera as well i like um i like Sa sasha but she comes with the wasabi so i don't know if i should mention wasabi i like sasha as a female youtuber i also like Bushe. Bushe is a really cool female youtuber i like her stories when she goes home and like shows us the makayas i love those story times of hers uh favorite physical feature the whole damn thing this i love the, i love it okay no, if you feel differently, whether it's the whole thing that works. Special talents. I'm gonna say cooking because I run a cooking page. Um, yeah, I cook. I used to be able to play the piano until I stopped taking lessons at St. John's. I don't know why I stopped doing my piano lessons with Mrs. Briscoe. I actually don't, I can't give you like a credible answer as to why. Biggest accomplishment I'm a Vits graduate, baby! I'm a Vits graduate, baby! I'm a Vits graduate, baby. I conquered the edge. That is my special and biggest accomplishment. And I'm attempting to conquer the edge again because I'm studying towards my LB, but I do hold a BA in politics and international relations. My biggest fear heights. But let me be specific heights in the form of bridges. I hate crossing the bridge. I hate crossing Amic Dek at Vince. It stresses me. It gives me a little bit of anxiety because I think the reason I hate bridges is I question the architecture behind it. Like, did you build this bridge to carry all these people crossing to and fro from West to East Campus? But my fear of bridges did actually start here in Maritzburg. And um, it's the bridge that when you leave Liberty Mall, whoo, child, some person threw themselves off that bridge. I don't know what they'd done, what crime they'd committed, but they threw themselves off that bridge, but they didn't die. It was very awkward because now they were paralyzed. But ever since then, like that bridge has just given me the heebie jeebies. Don't like it at all. Uh, what else can I let you know about me, guys? I I do have siblings. They're way older. Like, those people live a different life from the one I live. I recently turned 23 on the 3rd of August. I went to St. John's, DSG, and Old Girls School. So, yeah. I currently go to Vids. I stay between Johannesburg and Peter Maritzburg. Um, one thing I enjoy about both cities, very similar temperatures. Yeah, and I also just know the same people. Like everyone I know in Johannesburg is from KZN, so it's just convenient. Um, what else? Yeah, guys, as my channel grows and expands, you'll get to know me. We'll get to build a relationship. We'll get to interact. And guys, I really, really, really hope you enjoyed this video. And give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, follow me on social media. On Instagram, I'm Lelo Mbanjwa. On Twitter, I'm Queen Lelo underscore M. On Instagram for food, I'm Food of Lelo M. That's where you can find me. Guys, I'm really happy with this video. I'm not going to lie. I'm overjoyed. And it's been lovely. But now I have to go and continue being a daughter, continue being an aunt. My nephew is probably searching for me. I'm hearing noises in the background. It's been lovely. It's been adorable. It's been cute.